Ready for the headlines, Alia? Betty Moore falls in this day on the long special. Yeah, Betty Moore bumps the freight train more like it. Are you hurt? Am I hurt? Oh no, I came down like a feather. Ouch! Never mind me. Go see what happened to Miss Moore. Are you all right, Miss? I think so. Well, you're lucky you weren't killed. Well, that was a terrible crash. <sighs> Let me at her. Kate, oh, okay. I'm so glad you weren't killed. Oh, you did your best. You're still here. Bob, did you get that name? Betty. Betty Moore. You think she's the Betty Moore? Horse Moore's niece? Any bones broken? I guess not, Kate. I was just stunned. <laughs> you sure cheated the Undertaker that time. I thought it was slow music and flowers for us. Well, let's get out of here. Let me help. Easy there. Oh. Look. Those fellows are beginning to come to life. We better get out of here. I'm afraid your car is out of commission. We'll take you as far as Barton on the train. Are you railroad men? Are you running this train? Well, well you, you see, miss, we're, 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 uh, we're just a couple of young fellas trying to get along. <laughs> and fighting your way to fame, huh? Yeah, don't think we didn't have to fight to save that train, either. Were those men trying to steal the train? Perhaps those are the fellows that stole the lost special. What do you know about the lost special? I know all about it. Oh, you do? Well, that is, I'm writing a story about it for the Clarion. Let's go and round up those fellows. I want to get their story. Not now, miss. This train's running on schedule. we got to take it through to Brighton. Bob here runs an engine. If we don't get out of here pretty quick... There they are, Lefty. We've got to stop them. Come on, folks. Let's get going. Yeah, we gotta get that train out of here quick. Come on now. That's it. Oh, my poor car. What a wreck. Come on, or we'll all be wrecked. There you go, Bob.
She ought to be coming along any minute now. Yeah, I see they coming along. Wonder why the chief don't bury this train like he did the special. He don't have to. Ain't no steel vault this refrigerator car likes in the special. Slater figures we can open the refrigerator car easy. Get the stuff, leave the train on the sidetrack. Oh, I get it. There she comes. Good. Duck out with the flag so Dirk will know we're here. Crossing us, huh? Well, we'll stop them. Come on, boys. We'll find a phone and notify Slater. You know what to do. Yeah. How far is it to the next station? It's about five miles from here called Paxton. It's only a small station and an operator there. Stop, will you? Because I want to call Dad and tell him what happened. All right. station back here about five miles called Paxton. Yes, I know. But we'd better go on to Dunkirk. what happened and find out if we have the right of way to Brighton while well, I phone Dad and General Manager Moore. Okay, Charlie. Oh, Mr. Hood. Yeah? Please don't tell Mr. Moore anything about my being on the train. Well, I should report everything. Why? What's your objection? Well, you see, General Manager Moore, he happens to be my uncle. Oh, is that right? I'd rather he didn't hear anything about it until I told him myself. Well, I suppose that's characteristic of a reporter. All right, Miss Moore, I'm a space. Hey, Don Juan, how about reporting the agent like I told you to? Here, 445 with order number 20. Now, come on. The young ladies can watch the train. Let's see that he doesn't jump off the track. All right, Mr. Hood. What's new, Tom? Now, wait a minute. Where are you going now? Here's your orders, Johnson. Right away to Brighton. Thanks, operator. <laughs> You're not Johnson. Who are you? What happened here? Where is Johnson? Ha! He's looking for Johnson. <laughs> Something's wrong here. Give me those orders. Oh, wait a minute, my friend. If this Johnson you're looking for was on that refrigerator train, he was captured by the gang that held it up. What? Yes, held it up, and they carried off the entire crew. Now, Bob, you tell them the rest. I got to phone Dad and General Manager Moore. Hey, wait a minute. Here. Wait a minute. Listen, mister, we're taking this train through to Brighton. And if you want your job, you'll do as you're told. Hello, operator? I want to talk to Mr. Potter Hood at the Galcon to Mines in Jamestown. Yeah, hurry up, will you? 
I tell you, Slater, it looks mighty fishy to me. It's preposterous. How in thunderation could a whole train with a shipment of gold disappear without the railroad knowing something about it? Yeah, that's what Moore says. Haven't been able to find a trace of the lost special. Moore, what does he know? He's either a crook or just plumb crazy. What? Hello? Yeah, this is Dad. Hello, Tom. What's that? The refrigerator train held up. Great Scott. Yeah? Mr. Moore, the refrigerator train with the Gulf Honda shipment of gold was held up. What? Yes, sir. We just got word from Paxton that the whole crew were made prisoners by bandits. Two young fellows brought the train in. Great Scott, if who hears of this? Did they get the gold? No, sir. These two young fellows saw the whole thing and recaptured the train and brought it into Paxton. They're taking it on through to Brighton. But they can't do that. We don't know who these fellows are. Telegraph the operator and tell him to hold the train. And you rush your new crew down there with all speed. Yes, sir. Great Scott, if whoever hears of this, we'll never get the end of it. All right, Dad. Bob and I'll stick to the train until it's signed, sealed, and delivered. Oh, say, Dad. Dad, listen. I just met a swell girl here. Horace Moore's niece, Betty Moore. <laughs> what? what? Why, you young... Hello! Hello! Tom! Scamp. He hung up on me. Now let Horace Moore tell me there isn't a leak in his office. If it hadn't been for my son Tom and Bob Collins, there'd have been another mystery to solve. Where's the train now? It's in Paxton. And Tom and Bob Collins are bringing it through. Good. Would I sweat Horace Moore for this? Hello. I want Mr. Horace Moore. State Pacific Railroad. Yes. Yes. Hello. Oh. Yes, Mr. Hood. There's no mistaking that melodious voice of yours. Oh, there isn't, eh? Well, my voice isn't any worse than your railroad. What in thunderation kind of a railroad are you running anyway? Oh, we all know about the attempted hold-up, Mr. Hood. Two of our men drove them off and... Your men? Why, darn your pesky hide. It was my son Tom and his friend Bob Collins that drove them off. Yes, sir. And brought the train into Paxton. What? Your son? Why, would you... Yes, my son. Ah... Then it was your son, I believe, suggested shipping the gold in the refrigerator car. If there wasn't a leak in your office, what took him down there? How well, in thunder do I know? As far as that goes, if the leak wasn't in your office, what was your niece doing down there? Hmm. Hey, Bob! Hey, come here, you got another oh, passenger. pardon me. Hey, you can't move this train. I've got an order from headquarters to hold it here. Well, all right. Never mind, Bob. Here, I kiss. Says, uh, Never mind what he said. Give me the phone. Hey, listen. 
wasn't Joe. It was Tom Hood and his friend Collins who queered things. In some way, they ousted our men and are taking the train through. But we still have a chance to get the gold. Now, listen, here's what you've got to do. Take the shortcut through the canyon and overhaul the train near Eagle Pass. Board it. Take possession and run it up to the siding in the hills near Newton. I'll send the truck there to meet you. the special at this crossing. Those birds won't stop for a flag. We gotta surprise them or they'll get under cover like I did before. Yeah? This road runs alongside the track to Hemming Crossing. We'll open up on them and run them down. Get ready. Come on, Kyle! <laughs> 